the footage. Patrick, what is that? Oh, it's a camera. No, Patrick, this. Oh, that's a lens cap. Did you just put that on? No, I didn't want to lose it, so I put it there right before we started filming. Ah! Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a GT Online video for you guys, giving you guys my thoughts on the whole um, Jack-O-Lantern event in GT Online. So this is basically a new event that has been added to GT Online. And the one thing that I'm a bit confused on is I'm confused on how long this event is going to last exactly. Um, somebody let me know in the comments section if you know 100%, but some people are saying October 19th, some people are saying till the end of the month, but it's uh, the newswire is not very clear on that. Um, but anyways, regardless, is this event, you have to collect 200 jack-o'-lanterns, and I personally think this is the worst GTA Online, like, you know, collectible event that I've seen in a very, very long time, and probably the worst one, actually, out of all of them. Now, for people that are going to criticize me, you can see I have the jack-o'-lantern t-shirt and the mask, so I completed the event. It's not that I just picked up a few masks and gave up. I did the entire event. I collected all 200, and uh, if you want to know how I collected all of these... You can see it on GTA Series video. That's the guide that I used. GTA Series, they made a great, straightforward guide. Um, their guide is an hour and 15 minutes long, but if you're going to be collecting these, this is going to probably take you around three to four hours. So even though it's a one hour and 15 minute video, you're going to pause the video a lot of times to specifically look for that collectible. So it's gonna, this is going to take you, you know, a few hours a day, a good chunk of your day, whenever you're doing this. And the massive controversy, controversy regarding this, the worst part about this, is that you have to get all of these in one single day in 24 hours, 24 real life hours. And I believe that the jack-o'-lanterns reset the exact same time the daily challenges reset. So if you know wherever you live in the world, if you know when the daily challenges reset, that chances are that's most likely when the jack-o'-lanterns are gonna reset as well. But I just find it ridiculous that you have to do them all in 24 hours. Now, I thought it was ridiculous when there was 200 collectibles at, at when I found out about this, but when I found out that you need to do it in 24 hours, I was basically thinking to myself, what were they thinking? What, what, what the hell, seriously? And so when you pick up the jack-o'-lanterns, you basically get um, a, a few different things. You either get a treat or a trick. Now, a treat, you'll get cash, you'll get RP, you'll get um, snacks and body armor. If you get a trick, you can get shocked, you can get hit with like an up and atomizer, you can um, uh, get blown up, which I personally think is the worst one, and here's an example of it. The reason I think getting blown up is the worst one is because whatever vehicle you're traveling in, whether you're traveling in a helicopter, a motorcycle, car, whatever you're traveling in to get these jack-o'-lanterns, make sure that you always park your vehicle a few meters away from the, uh, from the uh, jack-o'-lantern in case you get that explosion one, because if you get the explosion one, you barely have any time to react. I don't think there's any way to dodge it whatsoever. You are going to blow up, and, uh, and you, it'll take the vehicle with you. So I've, I've lost, you know, two bikes doing this. Fortunately, you don't have to pay the uh, Morse Mutual fee for that. Uh, they're free, but it's still annoying that the bike gets destroyed. And whenever you die from this, sometimes I spawn like a few blocks away. Other times I spawn, you know, across the city or across the map at a hospital. And you can also get the peyote plant. If you get the peyote plant, you'll be turned into an animal. And fortunately, you can skip. You can skip this, uh, but when you skip this, you almost always spawn the hospital. And then you got to go all the way back there. And it just gets frustrating traveling back to the jack-o'-lanterns. So when you get 10 jack-o'-lanterns, you unlock the jack-o'-lantern mask, and you get $50,000. And when you get 200, you get the jack-o'-lantern t-shirt, and you get another $50,000. Now, uh, like I said, this is going to be very time-consuming. It's going to get very frustrating with the amount of tricks that you oftentimes get. Uh, you're gonna have you're gonna get spawned across the map a bunch of times But the thing that pisses me off the most about this whole thing is that there is nothing on the map to indicate which ones that you've picked up I wish there was an, like an option where every single time you picked up a jack-o'-lantern It would appear on your map that way you know that you've already picked that one up You know that you've already gotten that one and the stupid menu does not even keep track of it It doesn't keep track of it. I'm not joking on that So as you guys can see from the jack-o'-lanterns here, it says I have 10 out of 10, but I have more than that I have way more than that, so after 10, it stops counting. It should keep counting all the way up until 200. Other than that, it's just frustrating. And I'll tell you guys something. When I got the 200th jack-o'-lantern, the 200th one, I actually, um, or I should say the 199th one, 
I actually thought that I had gotten all of them, but turns out I missed one, and so I went back through the guide, I went through looking for it, and it turns out that there's two on Grove Street, and they're actually right next to each other, and so when I was watching the guide, I had mistaken the one on Grove Street as one when there was actually two, and so I had gotten it, and I, that's how I'd finished it. But I'll say this, this is just, you know, a terrible event that you gotta pick up 200 of these, you, you constantly get spawned across the map when you get blown up, you're probably gonna lose your vehicle a bunch of times, and to do all of this just for a t-shirt and a mask. You know, I don't mind a scavenging hunt, I don't mind, you know, a collectible thing, but doing all of that in 24 hours too? They should have let people, you know, take breaks, let people do let people do this up until Halloween. That gives people plenty of time. But, you know, not everybody has that much time to sit down and just look for collectibles for, you know, four hours, possibly even longer, depending on, you know, uh, how well you know the map. Because a lot of times I see the picture of it from the guide, I can go immediately there and I know where it is. But a lot of times people need to search around, and that's what I think is just personally frustrating about this. But that's my whole view on the jack-o'-lantern event, guys. I just think that it's ridiculous, and I think that it's, it is a waste of time. And I got actually a few more GT Online videos coming out for you guys. I do like the mask, and I, I like the t-shirt, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to hate on that, and I'm not trying to hate on more content, but I just personally think the, the goals that you have in this in this are unreasonable. Getting spawned across the map, getting your vehicle blown up if you, if you drive right next to it, and getting 200 of these all in one single day, I personally think that it's unreasonable. But let me know what you guys think down below, that's just my thoughts on the whole event. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys on the next one, take care everyone, have a wonderful day guys.